task number eight. Our high school graduates ought to be able to demonstrate understanding of the necessity of a biblical approach to apologetics. If you're going to defend God's truth, you need to defend it God's way. Well, Luke 21, 15 records Jesus saying that he says, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which none of your adversaries will be able to withstand or contradict. Jesus gives the answers. Jesus gives the wisdom. It doesn't come from William Lane Craig. It doesn't come from Saiten Bruggenkate. It doesn't come from Joel Sedeckes. It doesn't come from Jeff Durbin. It's Jesus who gives the answers. He gives the Holy Spirit. He gives the word. He orchestrates things so that we have the opportunity and the ability to refute unbiblical ideas and commend the gospel in a robust, intelligent way. And we better base our apologetics on scripture because the Bible says that every word of God proves true. According to Proverbs 35 through 6, it doesn't say every word of Joel proves true. It doesn't say every word of you proves true. Um, and then in John 10, 35, it says the scripture cannot be broken. So, man, I don't know of a better basis for apologetics than scripture. We better have a biblical approach to apologetics. Apologetics. 